Is this the first time at the Macau festival for you? Yes, yes. Okay. At the festival, is, it was my first time. How is the experience of being a juror? Uh, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, because you know I'm always hungry for seeing film. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I used to you know watch film at least three film a week if you know I'm available. Uh huh. Yeah. Because I read that uh, you also when you were teaching yourself the the job of a director, you were constantly looking to build a library in your mind of titles. Yes. You yes. Yes. Like you know, being a jury for me is like having opportunity to you know to watch a film to study you know how you know artists filmmakers mm -hmm. they are thinking about films because you know every filmmakers we all are different so film for me filmmaking for me one point is interesting because film has been you know invented more than 100 years in the whole world we almost finish you know speaking or expressing story telling story is not a point mm -hmm. i think how to tell a story from different point of view different background mm -hmm. different culture different localized for me is the most interesting point to tell a story I because think. every story is the same <laughs> but a love story happening in China or in America or in Iran it will be totally different the detail a happiness sorrow sadness of the story from human being probably the same and for a director for you specifically how do you go looking for those things and make the story different in each? For example, your relationship with a place or a community? All of them, I think, you know, the places, the, the landscape mm. for me is very important, especially for first time or second time, you know, filmmaker, because Especially in some some undeveloping places, mm -hmm. yeah, they all have their limitation. Like me, you know, I shot my first picture, yeah, second death in in Myanmar. Yeah, we were full of limitation, but we always got very good thing from the landscape from the circumstance. Mm -hmm. So for me, landscape, location, for me is very interesting. Yeah, because it's like sometimes you, 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 you couldn't control everything. Filmmaking is like maybe maximum a filmmaker can, you know, can specifically control 30%. 60% or 70% is up to your fate, coincidence, accidentally, because different people are different personality. Yeah, your actor, your actress, mm -hmm. how did you know, you know you could, you know, direct them to give you, express their own real feeling? Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. And um, for example, your latest film, is a very interesting change mm -hmm. in your career. Mm -hmm. uh, how you don't have much of a landscape to deal with in Nina Wu, um, even though at some point the character herself mm -hmm. escapes mm -hmm. this world of hotel rooms and, mm -hmm. and the, the sets of the filmmaking industry. Um, where did you go looking for those landscapes that are so important to you in your last film? There is still much, you know, landscape. But of course, like outdoor landscape, yeah, outdoor scene is not so many, but we can still see there's a big difference, you know, the character living in the city pursuing her dream compared to her originality, 
uh, hometown, it's mm -hmm. quite different look of the landscape. Mm -hmm. Those point for me is quite logical and rational when I was revising the script. Yeah, it's very important like to point out something. It's like symbolic, mm -hmm. but it's realistic. You know, someone came from very rural place and then she has to be staying in the huge crowded city pursuing her dream. Mm -hmm. She has been isolated. But from those landscape landscape for me, it doesn't mean like, you know, the whole thing to see, you know, the building or the city. You know, even though with a close up, medium shot, we can see the landscape surrounding her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um you mentioned the script. Um can you talk to me the way that you revise the script? Because we know the story, um, your main actress mm -hmm. with whom you've collaborated yeah. in the past, mm -hmm. she came to you with this story that she wrote. Um, but you mentioned revising the script, so can you tell me what sort of work you did on her script? What, what you focused on? Because I know that the story remained pretty much the way that she, yeah. she wrote it. What, what was your um, contribution there? Yeah, my first idea is I wanted to make the script, the story, happening in very logical way and rational way, although it's you know still surrealistic, but I wanted to make it more related to the local. Mm -hmm. So, if we 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 you know try to make it sort of for the local, we needed to point out, you know, the time, the place, the event. So a film in a film, what kind of film in a film is very important. Like in 1960, that's very, you know, interesting timing. So we can put something inside. So for Nina Wu, for me, is not just uh, like story about a girl struggling in the film in industry. Of course, it's also about you know a female mm, artist how she, her journey in the creative journey, and also there's a lot of t detail related to Asian film industry or related to the places like Taiwan, you know, mainland China. There's a lot of detail, yeah. symbol, metaphor. To point it out, of course, one audience they couldn't figure out those de detail. It, it doesn't hurt their understanding for the film. But if they, you know, watch again and again, they will figure out a lot of detail, which is pointing out very logical, rational, and realistic related to the political situation, related to, you know, everything's realistic happening now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, for me personally, because the film comes with, and I, you were aware of this, the film comes with this perception of being a, a Me Too film, mm -hmm. and I think that is so big as a as a point of view. Mm -hmm. It kind of takes everything. Um, it removes a lot of um, nuances from the film. Mm -hmm. But for me, the 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 striking thing about your film is that. Because if you want to do a film about Me Too, you can either do it very metaphorically, or you can do a literal story of an actress mm -hmm. who is has an experience like that. I think that you managed to do both in the sense that the story is there, and that's what happens to her. But with this uh, more surrealistic um, aspect, the more onirical dimension, you managed to make it metaphorical too. Um, so how much of that was striking the balance between, okay, we're just doing a story about an actress in the Me Too era versus you need to find a key, an, an interpretive, interpretive key that allows us to, to make it more of a suggestion, a symbolic mm -hmm. value? Yeah, for me, it's not a uh, you know, Me Too film. Yeah, I don't want to label it no, as exactly. Me That's... Too film. But of course, you know, for the media, if you know, they want to label it, it would not suit their expectation. It would disappoint them, you know, if someone, you know, they have the expectation to see a Me Too film. This film actually 
yeah, related to Me Too, actually, this film is not <coughs> politically correct, <laughs> you know. For the Me Too movement, you can see, you know, all of the actress, celebrity, they all stand together, united to fight, you know, something bad. But in this film, that is very, I think, too realistic. You know, it's telling the truth how human being. It's also revealed the darkness of human being. So it's revealing how the actress, they are competing together. Not only the actress, everyone's are competing to everyone in the real world. So it makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> so if people, you know, preparing to see a film with their expectation, it would be totally disappointed. They will hate the film. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And of course, go back to the story or the, you know, you know, insight of the film, how to combine or deal with such kind of huge or many, many elements into one film. For me, it's very simple, just point out the storyline. You know, it's a girl struggling in the city and one night she has been raped at the same time she had you know, immediately get the role because she was with the producer. At the same time, she's always, you know, being self reproach of her conscience. Yeah, because mm -hmm. she yeah. she did bad things yeah. that she that she didn't want, but she has been read, but she got a chance. And at the same time, she got famous. So it letting her you know, schizophrenia, mm. things happen. And, I and it's, it's the whole story. And, you know, the editing those to, to, you know, refresh it or to make it more logical, rational, I think it's very, very easy. Mm -hmm. To make the film to be understood clearly is very easy. But to make the film, let the audience feel how the character feel like the PTSD is important for me. Mm -hmm. So those metaphor, those symbol for me, yeah, you you don't need to understand everything. Yeah. But it helps you to enjoy the film if you understood everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um you strike me as a um, very pragmatic director. Is that would you would you agree? I'm I'm a rational and logical, yeah. yeah. Even though I made art house, but I my instinct way is very logical. Mm -hmm. Even though I, you know, my films, my previous film, I I shot with many many long shot. Maybe there's like twenty things with twenty shot only, but it's still a story inside, very logical, very rational. But it's always limited the side constant, the actor, the performance, the mm -hmm. budget, what kind of you know story is suitable for the long shot, what kind of the story is suitable for you know lots of editing. Mm -hmm. For this film, Nina Wu for me, you know, is a film, a story about, you know, a few may artists creative journey. We haven't seen many films, many storytelling from point of view from the actress, mm -hmm. from the film. And the actress for me is the most sensitive human being <laughs> in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I meant because even if even if you take away the part about what happened to her mm -hmm. to get the role, yeah. this film is also a very surgical analysis of just the moment of when an actor is on set. There are a lot of striking shots of like when they're 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 testing the poses, and yes. which sort of uh, deconstructs the entire experience of like in terms of following mm -hmm. instructions and like very mechanically mm -hmm. the director in the film. And I imagine for you maybe it was it was strange to to film a, a character who's also a director filming the actress because that sort of creates an imbalance in your direct relationship with her. Yeah, yeah, that's why uh, it's not a story I wrote. So, <laughs> you know, I feel 
I felt very comfortable. Mm. And for me, you know, human being feeling, like the actress feeling is the most important during shooting, mm -hmm. how they felt. Mm -hmm. If they feel uncomfortable, I don't make a thing. Let them, let them feel uncomfortable. So for me, many, many, like st until now, you know, I have been very good relationship with my all of my actress and actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we trust each other. Actually, during the shooting at the location, yeah, I don't need to do anything. I just sit in there, you know, just to check if they are satisfied or not with their performance. Is their self pushing them to giving us what we want? Is not me like direct them to do what I want. Okay. Yeah, I think a suitable filmmaker should like, uh, you know, build on the tr trust between actor, their mm -hmm. actor, and then he will get anything he want. And you never found yourself in a position where the performance wasn't coming um, strongly enough or deeply enough or if just... good actor you just say oh maybe you can try another one and <laughs> if they they have been trying you know more than 100 times they will realize they are not uh, working hard enough they were forcing they said the director a good director doesn't need to you mm. know pulling or shout or no actually we just go there very calm okay look at very cool and communicate very specifically with the head of the crew and then it's like, a, you know, mm -hmm. everything on their right system. And the actress, actor, you know, like many, many months, months before shooting, you have to build up your relationship, mm -hmm. giving them their target, their ambition. And then, yeah, they will find the way to do the best. So a director is a lazy job, you know, you just <laughs> go there pointing out, okay, it's not okay, it's okay. <laughs> so. Okay, thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.